Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss a common test performed in pediatric uh, neonatal units that's called yeah hyperoxia test. Now before starting uh, in detail the hyperoxia test you should know the why this test is performed how to perform it and what's the significance yeah so the test it's mainly performed in babies who are cyanosed to look for the cause of the cyanosis yeah now mainly there are two systems which are involved in cyanosis one is respiratory other cardiac so in summary this test is it helps to differentiate the cause of cyanosis whether it's respiratory or cardiac lien. now how we perform it we take arterial blood gas analysis then we give 100% or 2 for at least 10 minutes repeat ABGs now we are going to look for the PO2 which we got on initial ABGs and the PO2 which we get after giving 100% oxygen for at least 10 minutes I hope this is clear till now now if the PO2 PO2 rises above 150 mmH or 25 to 30 kPa it rules out cardiac lien so if the PO2 improves on giving 100% FiO2 this means that initially the lung was not oxygenating the blood to the maximum and but we have now given 100% oxygen which will more oxygenate the blood coming to the lungs and the oxygenation in lung has improved while if the PO2 does not rise what does that mean yeah if PO2 does not rise this mean that no more blood is coming to the lungs to be oxygenated simply it means cardiac lien right to left shunt now what does happen in right to left shunt is that the blood in the right ventricle or right atrium moves into the left it ventricle that blood does not reach the pulmonary circulation that blood which is coming from the inferior vena cava into the right ventricle it's bypassing the pulmonary circulation so if we give 100% oxygen there will be no effect on the oxygen saturation 
because the blood from the uh, in, from the venous system is bypassing the lungs one thing important of note is while performing this test you should have emergency measures because you all know ductus arteriosus our friend yeah now ductus arteriosus it closes by oxygenation when lungs are oxygenated it closes it closes so if the baby has duct dependent circulation like baby has pulmonary stenosis in pulmonary stenosis this is the heart this is the ventricles atrium right atrium left atrium right ventricle here is pulmonary stenosis which is going from the base now what does ductus arteriosus do is it connects the right pulmonary trunk to our friend aorta yeah even there is no flow from the right ventricle the pulmonary circulation can get blood from the aorta and can oxygenate now if we give 100% oxygen what will happen is the duct will close yeah and the baby can have cyanosis or worsening of respiratory distress thank you